Great. Thank you. Let's see. Welcome to the Indie Contributors Working Group call for October 22nd, 2024. Let's see. Today on the agenda, um, any updates on the uh, Indie Read Replica um, men mentorship project? Um, let's see if, if Brian is able to make it today. Um, and then other updates, um, if there are any updates on the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade, um, Indie Bezu project, as well as Trusted Web. We are recording this call. We'll post it here later today. Uh, we're following the Linux Foundation antitrust policy and the code of conduct, the LFDT code of conduct. Uh, let's see if anybody wants to put their name on the attendees list. That would be great. I'll send out that link. Let's see. In terms of uh, just a few quick announcements. Uh, so there is an announcement that went out that the Sovereign Foundation is preparing for the likely end of operations um, of its mainnet ledger on uh, March 31st, 2025. Uh, it could, that the ending could occur sooner or later than that. The reasons behind the likely end of operations are a decline in, in mainnet usage, regulatory uncertainty, technical challenges, uh, in governance and community involvement. Um, so unless unless there are significant changes before then, um, likely the sovereign mainnet uh, will end its operations on that date. Let's see. Was there anything anybody wanted to uh, say on that or any, any questions related to that announcement? No, I think that covers it. I mean, um, obviously if, if um, to looking like the stewards are going to stay um, and keep operating their nodes. At least we haven't received any notifications that they wouldn't. So that would be allow us to have a, an orderly shutdown. And then as we get closer and that looks likely, um, we'll figure out how to um, how to end operations. That might be just um, constraining rights. And and if any any sewers want to keep it running for reads, that might be possible, something like that. But anyway, um, we'll get to that and try to do it as smoothly and carefully as possible so that, um, you know, uh, things could be picked up or anything like that. We just don't want to uh, we want to give everyone time to um, do what they need to do to address that. So that's that was the. Um, motivation behind the announcement, and we'll see how it goes. Right, right. Let's see. Voting in this year's LFDT um, Tech Advisory Committee election uh, will begin from November uh, on November first and go till the fourteenth. Um, the election will include active contributors of an LFDT project or lab who have nominated themselves to run as candidates. You can nom uh, you can check if you're eligible at this link. Um, and then to nominate yourself, you can go to this link. Um, you just file an issue on the LFDT GitHub repo with your nomination statement, um, just a short bio and a, a short um, pitch about why someone should consider voting for you. And let's see, the, the call for nominations is currently open and it will end on October 31st. Then voting starts the next day and we'll go for two weeks. So there are links there. Let's see, are there any any other announcements? Uh, looks like Looks like all familiar faces here, but if anybody wants to jump off mute and um, give any announcements, um, now would be a great time. Or, or if you have any topics to add to the agenda. All right. Oh. Well, everyone is quiet. I wanted to ask, uh, so firstly, uh, say that I don't have, Anything specific about Andy Bezos? So right now we're thinking about uh, some small deployment just in public because we know that there are 
few companies who already have their own deployment of IndieBezel, but we still want to play with this in public, <laughs> so we are going to deploy it. And I wanted to ask uh, at the same time about um, uh, sovereign mainnet and also testnet that is uh, stopped for a long period of time, for a few months. Uh, do we know uh, maybe some companies who use this uh, sovereign network right now, maybe to suggest a uh, different solution or possibility of using IndieBasm? Maybe this is a question for Stephen. Um, uh, I don't know, I guess. Um... Yeah, I, I suppose we, we have directed, we had um, one or two requests and we directed them to other options. So we will make sure that, yeah, if anyone asks, we'll direct them um, about Bezu. Um, we did that already. <laughs> um, so we'll keep doing that. Yeah. Okay, thank you a lot. So uh, I don't want to force uh, approach with IndieBez, I just want to make it possible, yeah, like absolutely. making it like, like an official solution. Okay, thank you a lot. Okay. All right, let's see. I think we can go ahead and jump into our agenda. Um, Let's see, Brian, I'll pass it over to you. Would you like to screen share for your um, Indie Read Replica updates? Um, hi, Shah. Um, we, we don't really have much updates for today, except that um, we'll be doing some code reviews later in the week. Um, okay. So that's not my end. Okay, code reviews, awesome. Great, thank you for that update. Let's see, on the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade, um, any movement on the PR? No, no, no updates from my side. Okay, cool, thank you. Let's see. And then uh, Renata, it sounds like we, we got the update um, from IndieBezu already. Thank you for that. Uh, but if there's anything else, feel free to jump in. Uh, no, nothing specific. So as usual, I'm open for your questions and suggestions uh, to make our IndieBezu more popular, <laughs> maybe. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. And then are there any updates that anybody would like to share related to the trusted did web work? Um, nope, continues to make progress. Um, I think we talked about it last time, but we have a new um, information website that's published. Maybe we didn't actually, that was a couple of weeks ago and I think it was it there. So I'll put that into chat. Um, did tdw.org right. um, and that is now available and and uh, for informational purposes um, the spec has been stripped of the informational parts of it and, and is now purely the spec itself um, so that's good um, and uh, implementations continue the um, did TDW web server. Um, so it can be used for did webs and did TDWs uh, is uh, evolving quickly. Um, there's a deployment at BC Gov for a um, that's being used for a um, supply chain use case um, with the United Nations transparency protocol. So that's being used there where we're publishing um, <clears throat> did webs and did TDWs um, on the server uh, so they can be resolved. And then um, we're also looking to add support, as, as, I've, as I mentioned in the past, adding support for did TDW uh, in um, Akapai. The resolver 
is trivial and and that's been implemented what we're now looking at is um, as a registrar and including a registrar for a non credits uh, a non credits um, credentials that's the work that's going on there nice and uh sylvan is here on the call he uh implemented a rust implementation of it as well which is kind of cool um so we're getting other support nice yes i'm talking right now with the aries vc x people to see maybe to put the the, the work in their repo that's awesome that'd be great nice That's great to hear. All right, looks like that is our agenda for the day. Is Are there other topics or anything else that anyone would like to bring to the call today? All right. Well, with that, thanks everyone for joining and have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in two weeks. Take care. See ya. Thank you a lot. Have a good day. Bye-bye.